Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Michael T. Bradley. And J. Wilford Neville. And we are going to jump back into some Gabriel Knight's Sins of the Fathers. I'd like to give a little recap, but I figure a lot of people are just kind of probably watching it on a playlist in the future. So, uh, so let's just jump right into it, what do you say? Let's do it. Oh, here we go. Another dream oh. sequence. It's yeah. going to be terrifying. It just looks like recapping the opening credits for us. Looks like there was a parrot watching this. It's very sad. She's going to turn into a leopard. So you think Gabriel turns into a leopard or somebody close to him? Maybe the Getty woman turns into a leopard. Maybe we're all leopards? Ooh. The magic was inside us all along. Is there anything new? It's been so long I can't remember. Uh, yeah, there's that snake. And then oh, doorway and then hanging guy. And, and, and then DOS and then, 2, right? DOS 2? Is this yeah. DOS 2? And then a, a game of Paperboy again. DOS 2. <laughs> <laughs> a mask I wore as I approached, I was what I am not. And though, and the, though pattern the pattern was, was unclear, it means he could be bought. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Paperboy. <laughs> Woo! Oh, and there's Grace. Hi, Grace. <laughs> Just ready to be... So, it's weird because we see Grace Good opening boy. up and then it just cuts to him. Don't you look swell today? Does he Actually, maybe live there? Swollen. I am, in fact, turgid. Well, oh yeah, There's he lives upstairs, right? Oh, right. Now, is it going to be a puzzle to make coffee? <laughs> Seriously, you look like hell. Your hair is sticking straight up like a... Oh. It always does that. Never mind. Wah, wah, ah. Sorry, Did I keep compulsively playing patty cake while we talk. <laughs> Leopard, not lion. Did you get anything on Malia Getty? Yeah, take well, that. Oh, <laughs> I did get her address, but you're a little out of your league here, big fella. She got her the address. I mean, like this is like the nineties, right? Just to name a few of right? Oh yeah, there were no so privacy so settings on the phone. Did you get an books. address? Yeah. I got the address. I God suppose this has address. nothing to do with the fact that Malia Getty is incredibly gorgeous. I should have known you wouldn't go for a Okay, so finding that life. out, I guess, and that, that you can find that from the phone book. That she was incredibly hey, gorgeous? Yeah, I, maybe it maybe, maybe it says it in the phone book under Malia. her name. Like, <laughs> Malia, <laughs> Malia Getty, 1275 That's Shore Lake Drive, That's incredibly it. gorgeous. That's all I wanted to know, and yes, my dear. Malia Getty is the most dangerous. Does the phone book also list people's net worth? <laughs> most men. dangerous looking diversion. I can think of plenty of dangerous diversions. Like, did he never, I don't know, rollerblade or juggle knives? Oh, Mama Nanetti. A front page article describes. Do we know who plays Mama Narrator? Non, not is a non narrator. I fucked that up. Uh, let's see. I bet we can find out really quickly with the power of the phone book. <laughs> oh, and Gabriel is definitely an expert on the IMDb does not immediately take me to uh, Gabriel Knight. I don't know what's wrong with it. Virginia Capers, apparently, is the narrator. Is there a picture of her? No. Mm. Yikes. Virginia Capers is one of my favorite things to use in a salad. Yeah. Yeah. Nice and salty. Gabriel also scans the aquarium. Some people like to call them Victoria the Green Onions, but I don't understand why. <laughs> Chances of a dark star rising on this day. Do not trust your instinct. Oh, you always say that, not a narrator. Dark star rising, all right. <laughs> Is he talking about Molly Getty there? Is, Is that... he talking to the not a narrator? Is he talking to the newspaper? <laughs> Who is he I'll talking back later. to? Don't hurry, Grace don't didn't react, now. so... I'm just gonna go out on the street and yowl at people. Oh good, maybe some more Mosley. I love the second unit character here. There's always something going on at the police office. Yep. They threw away another snake today, looks like. <laughs> maybe the 
snake collector just hasn't shown up. Page on the wall near Mosley's office. <laughs> the security cage has They're been behind removed on their snake by the collection bill. Probably. The oh, we can uh, maybe we can like make everybody burn to death. Is that what the goal is going to be here? Maybe we're supposed to turn the heat way up so that the female officer will take off her clothes. Uh, it seems about par. It looks like one of our little uh, things that we can do is is a snake, and so I'm wondering what that is. Mm. That's weird. Uh, okay. Oh, good. We got a point for changing it to 80. Right. <laughs> Why would we think to change it to 80? Like, we just made everybody slightly more comfortable? That We got a point for that? Hey, hey, hey! Did the graphics you, get God. worse yeah. in this office since last time we were here? <laughs> does kind of seem that way, doesn't it? It seems blurrier. Ah. Dang, the air conditioning must be on the blink. I... okay. Are you hot? Man, I'm hot. Why does he seem really hot now when we turned it down? We turned it up. No, we turned it from 90 to 80. Yeah, so the air conditioning turned off. It's summertime, remember? Right? Anything else new? <laughs> Just work. Sorry, I don't have more. But if you put it to 90, that means you want the air in there to be 90, right? 90 degrees. Yeah. 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 You're the wrong uh, no, right. but if we, but no, if we put it to eighty, <laughs> then that means there's going to be more air. Coffee. <laughs> coffee. More air. Could that surprise you? <laughs> yes. like, Man, you've always been eighty caffeine. pascals. <laughs> like you got here, <laughs> so I'm desperate. Come in. I'll get you some more that time. That long. <laughs> All right, I'll go now. Oh, this is so boring. And then, uh, so then we get his police identification badge. I really feel uncomfortable, like, <laughs> stealing crap from the police station over and over again. While we, we got points for manipulating our friend. <laughs> Remember when we used to distract the teacher and then steal their identity badge? I think I'll just borrow this badge. Oh, we are stealing his badge. Oh, of course, hey, yeah. what are you doing with my coat? Nothing. I saw something crawling. Notice that there are post it notes covering the monitor of his computer. <laughs> yeah. Just drink this. He might be slightly confused as to how computers work. Well, I think Fans. it's I think it's a cops. joke about how I cops mean, are kinda dumb, right? Because oh, all well, the cops are dumb. That's true. There's a post it note over the light switch by the door. <laughs> Let's Maybe make it cooler in here. <laughs> right, we're just going to leave it at 80, 80 degrees in there. <laughs> Turn it down to 60, then Mosley will be really hot. <laughs> Let's go sit on a park bench. All right. We're going to... Okay. So we have a police badge. Now we can go, like, intimidate people. Yeah. That's what this whole... This is going to turn into a uh, bad lieutenant. Now we're just going to use our badge to get sexual favors from women. <laughs> Let's go arrest the mime. <laughs> we're like, we're like hip deep into uh, just advantage of like Gabriel with. fucking around with people at this point. <laughs> Who is taking advantage of what there? I'm, I, I was. I'm, An artist is taking advantage of the fine weather. Uh, That's right. He's boning the fine weather. Yeah. <laughs> hey, fine weather. You sure are fine. <laughs> Nice drawing of the cathedral. Thanks. God, can it's you imagine really what precise. it would have been like, like playing this on well, like a 486 or whatever, <laughs> having to practice. make Gabriel walk that distance? Those drawing tools are amazing. The scene would have taken 23 yeah, minutes. Yeah, great for laying lines, <laughs> angles, circles, anything geometric. It's pretty meticulous, but I prefer it to freehand. It's long enough already. Can you draw anything with those tools? They're great for ordered complex forms and patterns, but they won't help me do Monet. Okay. Do you mind if I watch you? Be my guest. Gabriel likes to watch. We're gonna like learn how to become an the artist here. looks like a beginner practicing he act. He act. Did she say he act? Yeah. Say, do you think there's anything you can do with these patterns? Uh, I'm kind of busy and I don't normally do requests. Oh, okay. Show him your cop badge. Right, but... Show him your 
I'm a bad. I'm a cop. <laughs> Gotta do what I say. Don't you have sketch artists? Do what I say. <laughs> He's kind of I've I've kind of turned his accent into a Dr. Phil accent. I think. Hey, come back here. Hey. Did we somehow cause that? I want to believe we did. Now shoot him. Shoot him. <laughs> Unbelievable. Hot luck. Well, we should try to intimidate that lady cop with our cop badge. Mm -mm. No, really. I'm cop. How's hey, girl. I know. I'm cop. Life sucks. <laughs> I just lost two days worth of work. What you working on now? Just starting another drawing of the cathedral. Simple geometric lines, Gabriel. It's all I really care about. Oh, so maybe if we rescue that for him, then he'll do us a solid here. Right, because he is apparently on his own incapable of getting over a three-foot wrought iron fence. Doesn't even have to get over it. It looks like it's stuck to the top of it. Well, here, I'll extend my arm slightly and... Yep. Gabriel can't reach the drawing from where he is. Deploy, baby. <laughs> Do we have to snatch it with the police badge? <laughs> Maybe we, like, trip that kid. <laughs> a small boy is hey, since your leg's broken, you mind if I use you as a human uh, uh, <laughs> fishing rod? What kind of novels does Gabriel write? I don't know. I mean, I assume, like, crime fiction, since he's supposedly writing one based on the voodoo murders. I'll bet he writes killer sex you scenes. You pretty well for a kid. He touched her booby, as was his right, and she <laughs> was like, rock on. <laughs> You do requests. Got any money? No. <laughs> Some to eat? Uh, no. I have this police badge. There you have it. No. <laughs> do you want to eat these tweezers? Can I get a lucky dog, please? Not right now. My head's on fire, sir. <laughs> An unambitious person? In the 90s? <laughs> Amazing. Oh, not a narrator. You're a sly, cynical wit. Hello, are you selling lucky dogs? People or like it when you're topical. Yeah. The vendor ignores Gabriel entirely. Possibly dealing with the fire on his head. <laughs> hey, little tap dancing boy, can you do anything with these geometric shapes? I have this gift certificate. Good for 20 bucks in St. George's books. This the is the payoff. Books. This is the payoff of the gift certificate really? that we Apparently, stole. we can get a hot dog. A hot dog. To give to you the tap dancer so that he can distract the fence. <laughs> Why didn't we just, like, knock over his cart or something? That seems to be about the level of what Gabriel's been doing so far. <laughs> Hey, young child, you want this lucky dog that I've some for some reason stashed into my lucky coat? <laughs> Let me pick off the lint for you. <laughs> He's got a little bit of a uh, sweat and uh, you wouldn't like a lucky dog, lollipop. Yeah. I don't know. Thanks, Mister. If you got any special requests? Let me know. Yeah, cut it the fuck out. <laughs> You play, uh... You mentioned something about a special request. Get a paper out from the middle... I, why doesn't he just <laughs> jump over it? I... Can you fit through the bars around the statue? No, but if you hum a few yeah. bars... Just watch me. Good. There's something in there I can't quite reach. Come on. It's a dead body. <laughs> Can you reach that piece of paper? Sure thing. Deploy urchin. There you go. <laughs> yep. See ya. That guy right. really invaded our personal space. Yeah. 
His pathfinding ability was like, it just didn't <laughs> give a shit. <laughs> That juggler, man, he is going to be the best juggler in the world. I know, he's practicing it's non-stuff. It's a technical drawing of St. Louis Cathedral. God, the amount of stuff that they made them narrate for, or say for this. I know. This belongs to you, doesn't it? My drawing. How stupid do you, you think get? you feel just sitting oh, there and reading squeeze, all of those lines? Right. Especially, like, I lost my if it takes more than one take. Once. Yeah. Well, you saved my butt. That well, was you know, really good, not a narrator. You, Wait, huh? what's her name? That was really good, Virginia. But Capers. let's just do it one more time. Do you think they called her Ms. Capers? Say, do you think there's <laughs> anything you can do with these patterns? What do you need? Is there any way you can reconstruct the whole pattern from these partials? Hmm. Pattern is probably circular, and there's some repetition. I think it's a cathedral. What is this from, anyway? <laughs> You'd never believe me. It's probably in Gallifreyan. Okay. Mm. Well, there's. Hmm. I think there's an area missing. If you could get me any more. Of I these, hope this is kind of like a Cthulian thing. Like we keep giving him the pieces, and eventually he goes mad. <laughs> I have another one of those patterns. Really? Let's see. Oh God, they fit yeah. in through the angles. Yeah, this is no. great. I think there's enough overlap now. <laughs> my I'll mind's my being shot. flayed. I'll show you what I come up with tomorrow. Great. I appreciate it. We have to wait till DOS 3? What do we do now? Just go back to St. George's and rub one out to the German English Dictionary? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's how I spend my days. <laughs> Blucher, Blucher. I think there might be some racial stereotypes going on with the bands, but I can't really tell. <laughs> oh, we're gonna go to the Getty Estate. We have a new woman to sexually harass. This is very exciting. Sweet. The Garden District is famous for. Could we break into her house and then sexually harass her? That would be great. We've also, I think maybe we'll be like, I'll give you this $20 gift certificate if you let me touch your boobie. Um, no, but I, 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 don't, I don't need to touch both boobies. Just, just the one boobie. <laughs> I get off on asymmetry. Let's sexually harass the roses. The windows are made of thick, heavy glass. <laughs> The only thing Gabriel can see inside is even thicker drapery. I just see like Virginia Capers there after the like hour 17 and it's like, You can't do that! Solid. Why would you want to taste that? You know, just... <laughs> Get the roses out of your mouth. Okay, but now more incredulous, Miss Capers. <laughs> May I help you? I'd like to see Mali again, please. I'm sorry, but unless you have an appointment for official business, I cannot... Uh, now we show the police badge. I do have official business. Really? Please tell me the nature of your business. I need to pitch some woo. My name is Detective Mosley. I'm here on police business. Really? I Doesn't it seem odd that he didn't change Which his year? voice until now? I'll inform Ms. Giddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm uh, Giddy hang on, you. just let me get into Practice character. <laughs> I'm Detective Mosley! He's gonna flash her so hard. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh, tons of shit to click on in here. Is that, is that painting? Does she have her top off there? The one on the left? No, the one in the middle. Well, it's supposed to be like the Venus, right? I'm not sure. Venus of the shells. What can I do for you, Detective? She's wearing her meat cutting smock. <laughs> Hold on, let me just click on like 17 things. Undoubtedly, that that is. Now that was Gabriel saying that. That seems weird. When we clicked on her boob. Yeah. 
Maybe Molly wouldn't be impressed by a signed copy of one of Jay's letters. But then again, maybe she would. Who knows? Try everything in this game. What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Thank you. It's The Rebellious Slave by Michelangelo. Not at all? More or less. It's a Picasso. Picasso was alive in the 90s, right? <laughs> it's Picasso's you actual win. head. They must be relatives. <laughs> they are. Oh, oh, she's a shape changer. Mmm. Romantic. Is she gonna I turn like into a leopard right now? Oh, I think so. But no, she Maybe likes Firelight. Maybe she was one of the people killing the leopards. This is quite a place. Well, she could say that Thank about you. anywhere, any time. It's been in the family a long time. <laughs> like that we've got the Mind if I ask you a few punchy questions. little oh. music going on here. Here we go. I assume that's what you're here for, Detective. Yeah. Just tell me. Tell me about yourself. Any old thing. I suppose I don't really have a choice. What do you want to know, Detective? That's what I like to hear from a woman. What color pants? What kind of things wear? interest you? I don't have a lot of free time, but I do appreciate the arts. Opera, symphony, ballet, fine art. Those are murders. If you look around, you'll see that we collect African art, for example. Yes, it's very beautiful. It is, Detective. It means a great deal to me. How much Do product is implied is in her hair from the way Being they shaved it? Being the head it. of the Getty family is a 24-hour-a-day job. We have many holdings and many responsibilities, financial and otherwise. Like our rebellious The management slaves. of our business affairs and properties leaves me with time for little else. Poor little rich girl. Believe it or not, Detective, wealth does have its price. Bucko five. This seems Tell totally like a, uh, uh, an, uh, we were very an, uh, an interrogation by a police detective. How many people right. are there this in your family? Totally the kinds well, of questions that my police mother come to your house away. and ask you. <laughs> I am sorry. So am I. She was a magnificent woman. We were very close. I was an only child. And your father? I never knew him. I don't it's hard one. to believe that any man would leave a woman like you. Or like your mother must have been. What? He did not leave. I, it's so convoluted That's to really try to explain it would be really boring. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go on. Look, are, every course, member of your family, I want a bone. Now, I have a large okay? extended <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I see. Surely your Do daddy you would have not have left with a nice husband? piece of tail like you. <laughs> I'm very independent, detective. The women in my family have always preferred it that They way. always want me independent. So, I don't know why that, that is. <laughs> no. And I never will be. What about children? Yes, that is likely. Someday. I will marry a child. The world according I'd to like Getty. To just about anything. I do a lot of charity work around the city. <laughs> Seriously, the if a detective showed up at your house and was like, <laughs> I just want to hear about anything. Sociologist. I just want to see your it lips move. <laughs> I'd like to hear just about anything. I have a business degree from Vanderbilt. So... I wanted to Mark Hamill was all worried about like offending her by going and asking her questions. She seems pretty open oh. to detectives just well, visiting and hanging out. Right. Surely that would have been an asset to the family. Poor Mark well, Hamill is missing out please. here. Please, I do have some morals, detective. <laughs> I'd like to hear just about anything. For the record, I'm 28 detective. Wow. She's 28 detectives. <laughs> I wouldn't know where to begin. As you wish, detective. Snakes. Ask her about snakes. 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 What can you tell me about voodoo? <laughs> voodoo? Why would voodoo. you want to know about that, Detective? It's rather <laughs> silly, isn't it? There's nothing silly about the voodoo murders. I'm but trying to remember the next line fake. of that. I That's feel what so I've bad. I usually papers. can just pop right in. That's what papers say, <laughs> all right. But you're not convinced? The baby. No, Is that what's Frank next? The baby? Yeah, well. The police department isn't known for its imagination. Oh, but let me make well, you I can draw. see that your imagination is considerable. Yes, I'm imagining you naked right now. Are you sure you can't tell me anything about voodoo? How about if I capitalize I really don't know much the about D? It. Sometimes Isn't I there do some that. place in town that you can find out about that sort of thing? A museum or something? If only I, I believe there is a museum store. Then maybe you should check there. Oh, we didn't get a little dingy. What do you know about that the voodoo? That wasn't a breakthrough. The murders? 
Only what I read in the papers. We have and to harass her in exactly the right ways. Apparently. I'm sure you know much more about it than I, detective. No, she didn't emphasize the detective in that. Tell me about your life in New Orleans. Bad reading. The Getty family came to New Orleans in 1800. We work very hard to get where we are. New Orleans. On the other hand, we've done a lot for this community. I can work hard. That. You're doing a lot here. for me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, had to have the you know <laughs> Yes. I'm snake. afraid I quite abhor them. What about this snake? <laughs> this trouser <laughs> snake? It's a very rare species. <laughs> I believe it's some sort of local holiday, but I don't know much about it. Do you have any idea what Capri Saint Gaulle means? No, I don't. What does it mean? It's the worst friend. That's confidential information, <laughs> man. Capri Saint Gaulle. Have you ever heard of a shot and Jaeger? We had no. I'm afraid Cajun, I can't French, help you German, that American, English, like everything is coming into play here. Can you tell me anything about what happened out of the lake? Well, I, was I wish I young, could, I but I've never money. seen or heard oh, anything unusual with the lake. Else. And I do spend quite a bit of time My voices there. for the two of them sound eerily similar. That was her. <laughs> Can you tell me anything <laughs> about what happened out of the lake? I wish I... Oh, flirt with her as opposed <laughs> to... Me. But your eyes are really distracting. I don't think I've ever seen the color quite like Brownish gold. Brownish gold. Oh, rich. Man, if I could bottle that, I'd make a fortune. Can I just Thank scoop you out your eyes? <laughs> That's an right. interesting observation. Put her eyes probably in not the relevant to your case. A good put eyes in bottle. What do, like do, 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 do. <laughs> then you must be truly exceptional at your job. I think this has gone on long enough. You're not really a detective, are you? No, but you I have mean? dreams well, about leopards. I am on this case. <laughs> That I makes me qualified to come and harass you. I thought you must be with the police since you were there, but you don't act like a police officer. Kinda so, you kinda, so, kinda, kinda act like Tim Curry in a shame spiral. <laughs> All right, you caught me. I'm not with the police. My name is Gabriel Knight. I'm a writer working with Detective. All Mosley right, you book. caught me. Cut to well, he's Mr. being Knight, put in now jail. Well, Mr. Knight, established <laughs> who you are, perhaps you can tell me the real reason you're here. I want well, a I am researching the book, and I thought you might have seen or heard something at the lake. I don't like liars, Mr. Knight. Okay, okay, you're liars. right. I, I really just wanted to see you again. You can be mad at me if you want, but I swear I've never done anything like this before. Mr. Knight, you've lied about your identity and wasted my time with meaningless questions. If it weren't vaguely flattering, I'd really be angry. You're lucky I don't call the real police. I think you should go, Mr. Oh, good. Knight. You got points for lying to her. Yay. I've wasted enough time. I'll have Robert show you Quick, cop a field before we leave. <laughs> what? Robert? He's too Show tall for Mr. that door. Knight out, <laughs> he has clipping problems. I will. Even if I speak Thank half a second after much. the animation. I love it <laughs> ah shit. <laughs> well, I I'd say we came out of that uh, better than I expected. I mean, we did just impersonate a police officer and yep. risk. Uh, Risk imprisonment, so. And sexually harass one of the most Welcome, wealthy people in the city. Yeah. Hello. I am the proprietor, Dr. John. If you have any questions, I will be happy to answer. <laughs> right. If I were a Time Lord, that's the name I'd choose. Oh, I think that's a good name, yeah. You recognize that voice, right? The historical uh, no, wait, don't tell me museum that one. is brimming with items authentic and original. What the hell is that person doing in the behind I the screen? I don't very know. Large, very kind of look like they might be like snake. dreading up their it's hair. Uh, oh, oh, this is a perfect place to ask about snakes. Snakes. Dr. John is a huge man. If his manner weren't so pleasant, he'd be intimidating. On the table is a small coffin. So small, in fact, that it would only fit an infant. Or a snake. Or a snake. 
or a snake. <laughs> He's got more hair than Mosley. <laughs> Reminds me of a book critic for the New York Times. What? Because he's big and he can kill An you. Official voodoo wish and stump. Rub it and make a wish. A card says. Everybody's got their own I version of a Christmas the same tree, thing I guess. To women. Mm. The back wall oh, whoops, I talked over him being items, horrible sexist. Such as <laughs> yeah. An anatomically correct voodoo doll. With pins strategically placed. Now, why does that remind me of Grace? That's creepy. Why does it? So it's apparently female and anatomically correct with pins in it. Why does that make me think of the girl who works for me? Are we supposed to hate him? Do we just want him to be eaten by the shot in the air? Gabriel wonders who she might be. Gabriel wonders every. I mean, he's just you know in his own little world. Uh, the '90s were the golden this age of catching the misogyny. Thank you, Mr. Knight. I have dedicated myself to the preservation of this unique culture. It is gratifying to see others reap the fruits I have sown. Have you figured That's it out yet? Euphemism, right? Oh, I forgot to listen. <laughs> Can I ask you some questions? That is why I am here. Tell me about snakes. Yourself. Ask him about snakes. Me? Yes, if you don't mind. What is it you wish to learn? No, I can't identify his voice. It's Ephraim <laughs> Zimbalist. No, it's Michael Dorn. <laughs> the subject oh. has I was going to guess all that. My life, and I wanted to help preserve the cultural heritage it represents. What kind of background in do you have? I, why do we give a I shit when we could be asking him about snakes? Snakes. It is seen by blood. Do you think there are any options to sexually harass him? Do you him? do anything besides <laughs> run the museum? That bald pate no. of yours is Some just very distracting. Some museum does not make me a rich man, but my material needs are simple. I prefer to focus Snakes. on my one true interest <laughs> in life. What are your own religious beliefs? My beliefs are too personal and too complex to discuss with a labor I mean, photographer. <laughs> Just tell me anything. I Just am tell me any the West old thing. Myself, you know. Really? What brought you to New Orleans? A boat. I was drawn here for personal reasons. Oh, is that a... No, it's probably not a double entendre. Actually, he's drawn. Then, let us discuss something else. Bling, bling! Oh, no? <laughs> Do you know Malia Getty? Should I? She referred me to your museum. Many have read about our museum in the newspapers. I don't tonight. think their mic That's was able point. to get Michael Dorn, like how deep he registers. What like he sounds clipped to me. Voodoo. Yeah. Historical voodoo? All that, like or the, the really bass rumble voodoo. stuff. Yeah. Tell me about historical voodoo. Very that well. is when you put I pins in a historic textbook and, and hope and to kill on people on long dead. dead. It's that like Assassin's Creed, but <laughs> less graphically <laughs> oriented. By the mixing together of many different African tribal religions and Anglo religions, such as Catholicism or Protestantism. This is now the second the time I have gotten to try Michael Dorn voice, and the African second time I have failed miserably. But African <laughs> slaves were imported not only by the United States, but also into the West Indies, where the French and Spanish ran plantation islands. Have I mentioned that I am from? Yes, yes. The area was owned by France. This is Dr. John Wikipedia. In those days, owned many African slaves, but. See, this is, I mean, this is like how, like, I can't imagine writing something like this these days because everybody can just open up Wikipedia, you know? Right. Are there, is there really anybody who doesn't know this much about voodoo? Like, uh, am I attributing too much information to normal people? After the Louisiana Probably, I don't, American I don't know what the hell he's talking about for the most part. But then again, I don't give a shit about voodoo. The Americans also removed the ban on West Indies slaves. Around the same time, oh my a slave revolt occurred in Santo Domingo. What is now hate? It's a 12-minute monologue. The of the ban and 
you know, when you create a story, you have to do research often and find out things. And the writers of this were just, like, not really sure how to condense that. Yeah, it reminds me of, um... Who's that writer? What happened when the West Indies You know the one. <laughs> he wrote that book with the character with the stupid name. Snow Crash. Neil Stevenson. He does tons and tons of research, and then he can't bear to part with any of that information, so he, like, introduces a character like this, who is literally a library, who will do, like, 20-minute discourses. Exposition. Worshipping the one they called the He's still expositing. Story. Yeah. Oh, I think we missed the Tell question about, about snakes the there. Dark. No, he's still on historical By voodoo. <laughs> we're into the 19th <laughs> century, <laughs> though, so we're getting farther. <laughs> Do you think Michael <laughs> Dorn, like, signed up for this thing and, like, yeah, it'll be something exciting and different, you know, get, get, get some more <laughs> acting chops under my belt when he saw the script and he was like, really? Bitch. Like, essentially, he has now done the V section of a Encyclopedia Britannica audiobook. Of course. It's probably better than his gig on Star Trek, though, where he was constantly just getting shot down. Like, what if we... No! Tell me more about the historical... There were a variety of... Tell me, Mr. Knight, would you like to see a weekly series about Worf and his captaincy? <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd watch that. Yeah, he's, he's pushing for that right now. Marie Laveau ruled Voodoo in New Orleans for many years. Oh, we got something, something about Tell me more about some damn thing. God damn it. <laughs> I've given you as much oh, thank goodness. As oh, finally. Now we have to hear about around the museum fake voodoo. Current snakes, voodoo. snakes, 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 snakes. What do you know about the voodoo murder? <sighs> the killings in the newspaper. I know that they have nothing to do with. Could your friend who's uh, fucking with his hair and banging on the drums just cut Tell it out for five cards. minutes? <laughs> Many people think of voodoo in terms of magic spells or Greek. That kind of practice is actually called voodoo. Voodoo? Voodoo? <laughs> voodoo? You do. Our religion has a strong <laughs> following in New Orleans. In fact, uh, it's kind it of a quite kind of low-hanging fruit, isn't it? <laughs> churches or temples in the city. Remind and me of the bay. All parts of the United States, African Americans see it as a tradition all their own. Whites and they are really their religion. Oh, Ixnay on the exotic, I eh? personally am more <laughs> interested in the history. Yay, racial tourism. Oh, really? Tell me about historical voodoo. No, God damn it, Gabriel. <laughs> but it is the voodoo of New Orleans that I find so intriguing. I swear to God, if this opens up another... Tell me more about current voodoo. Uh, there are many voodoo ends in New Orleans. Voodoo ends? They are voodoo ends. It's kind of like Utah and it just doesn't. <laughs> I always want to. I, I still say Utahians. We refer those who seek a deeper experience with voodoo to a local practitioner. Magenta. Now that's that that's just sounds silly. I'd love to meet her. She lives on the corner of Orleans and Dauphine. I will call her. And oh, sweet. We get to go see Magenta Moonbeam. Great. How does she feel about being sexually harassed. Tell me more about current voodoo. You have oh, thank God. my resources. My expertise is really historical. Perhaps this Oh yeah, maybe she can talk to us for like 25 minutes. That'll be great. <laughs> current voodoo kind of sounds like an alternative way voodoo? of fixing the electric Not if your interest is talk. primarily in voodoo. Voodoo. Is of interest Voodoo? to those who study rural folk <laughs> traditions, but it will not aid you in understanding true Voodoo. True Voodoo. Who do help me understand? Tell me more <laughs> about Marie Laveau. There were actually oh my two God. Marie Laveau. <laughs> I think it's Marie's Laveau. Most people thought they were the same woman. Her continued youth added to the rest. 
the original, the mother was the original, the mother. Just in case you were curious, there. <laughs> it was she in case you didn't understand the, the way when genealogy the works. Began to practice. <laughs> Tell me about genealogy. By 1830, she was voodoo queen of all Orleans. I like his festive little uh, necklaces there. Tell me there. more about Marie Laveau. The widow Are they Paris real macaroni, do you think? <laughs> Is that what they're supposed to be? She also paid household <laughs> servants to spy This is, like, literally, I don't know anything the about the New Orleans or voodoo. Because I'm everyone like, they're just silly. In New Orleans. I've, she I've was totally like using her information pushed aside our poor voodoo New Orleans New Orleanian audience. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we don't want to alienate them. them. They're like twenty percent woman in the right. <laughs> power is an incredible team. Like I read Poppy Z Bright's Lost Souls, and that's about as much interaction with New Orleans as I've had. Tell me more about Marie Laveau. She kept it in snake. Oh my God! So many openings snakes. for snakes. <laughs> herself seriously. Very seriously. But she was not above selling tickets for her events to Bitch got to eat, seekers. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she was not above using voodoo any way she could to make money. That is for certain. But if she had been in another We're just still going on this. Another, I yeah. that would been interpreted as Let's see if we talked about rather than a sign of Gabriel's water. shirt yet. Boy, hey, it's white. You don't need to convince me. I admire anyone that can actually make a living. Snakes, tell me more. Oh about no, Marie not Lago. more about Marie. <laughs> not more about Marie. The voodoo. the voodoo that is truly and uniquely the voodoo of New Orleans. Dun dun dun. When someone asks who do the voodoo of New Orleans, I say Marie the and the incantation. These form the basis of the modern practice, not to mention the folk. Well, then why did you mention it? Why? <laughs> why, Michael Thorne? Can we just ask you about snakes? Tell me God more damn. about Marie Laveau. <laughs> Her daughter. Ooh, Marie we're Gabion just. Yeah, okay, now on to the daughter. All right. Paris yeah. got old. Most people thought it and then was we're going to trace her lineage all the way down to us. <laughs> I'm just going to sketch over <laughs> here. That <laughs> I have some dental floss and a marker. Gonna sketch a little smiley face on it. On the dental floss? Yeah, it's like a like like a what do you call it? A dental floss packet, you know? Not oh, I see. Yeah, I'm like that's a very precision marker. <laughs> like boogly 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 boogly. I think I'm gonna grab myself a German English dictionary and learn German one word of the time during this scene. All right. Saint Louis Cemetery Number One. It is a popular shrine for practitioners. Well, I bet we get a little ding ding a ling for that. I think that opened up a map. A place? What do you think? Really? Do you have any running this way? No. But the cemetery is open to the general public as well. Ah, yeah. Points. Snakes. Have you ever heard of a shocking Jaeger? No, I have not. Look, I'm not but here for the German delicious. shit. I am just here for the snakes and the voodoo. Really? Come on, We never even Gabriel. asked him about snakes? We don't even care about the snakes. Maybe we missed the snakes, but I don't think we did. That skeleton's asking for it right there by oh, the no, door. No, we didn't even click on the skeleton. How'd it go? Walk carefully out there. It's I just waxed. Okay, all right. I think this is a good place to call it a day. We will be back uh, in the near future for the continuation of Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Father. Until then, this is Michael T. Bradley. And Jay Wilford Neville. And we are...